Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So over on Instagram, I asked you guys to send in your assumptions about me. So I wanted to go ahead, film a little assumptions about me video, eat some sushi, and just kind of sit back and talk to you guys. You guys really seem to like these types of videos. So if you guys are interested in these types of videos, I'm gonna give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna partake in some of these like question type videos, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. And I'm gonna leave my handle right over here so you guys can give me a follow and I'm also going to leave a link down below so without further ado let's go ahead and get started guys so I think I got too much sushi I have a volcano roll an autumn roll and a Philadelphia roll so I also have um, soy sauce which is gluten-free. I also have spicy mayo, and then I also have eel sauce. So I saw over on TikTok that you like dip eel sauce and then also spicy mayo on like the same piece of sushi, and it's really good, and I tried it, and I absolutely like love it. So I was like, yeah, I need that. So I feel like every single time I eat sushi, I have to eat that now. Um, I'm gonna grab a bite because I'm starving. I'm so hungry. And I feel like this is probably the most unattractive food to eat on camera I should have thought this through that hit the spot first assumption is that money is important to me and this is definitely not true this is furthest from the truth um, I didn't grow up with a lot of money money isn't everything I mean you could lose your job tomorrow and I'm the type of person that feels like if I lose my job tomorrow I'm gonna lose my income but I'm going to have like amazing friends and family to like be around. So definitely false. Definitely not true. That was pretty good. I don't know what's on top of that. But that was really good. Second assumption that I am athletic. A thousand percent no. I'm literally the most clumsiest person on the planet. Um, I've always been super clumsy. I trip over air basically. I'm not a morning person. That is actually like kind of accurate, I guess. I'm not somebody who will wake up really early voluntarily. Um, I kind of get cranky. I need my coffee. I'm not really like a night person either because I get tired like really early. Is there like a middle of day person? Because if there is, that is totally me. You have a bubbly personality. Um, I think I do. A lot of my friends think I have a bubbly personality, but I'm also incredibly shy. Like, I'm probably one of the shyest people ever bubbly, but I feel like you gotta get to know me a little first, because otherwise, I'm just, like, super shy, and you're gonna be like, wow, this chick does not talk. But once you get to know me, then I start talking, and you're like, oh my god, wow, she really is bubbly. Family is important to you. 100% yes. I am incredibly close to my family. My mom is literally my best friend. Um, my brother, also my best friend, him and I FaceTime, we talk regularly. My family is basically everything to me. I have a small family, but they literally mean the world to me. I can't even see where the sushi begins and ends. It's like so freaking messy. But yeah, they literally mean everything to me, so yes. Next up is you are a vodka drinker. Actually, no. I was never really a vodka drinker. I love my tequila. Vodka is always my last option. I don't know why, it just doesn't do it for me. Um, I'd rather have a shot of tequila over a shot of vodka. A shot of vodka kind of makes me feel like, Ugh, versus a shot of tequila I could do straight face, no problem. I actually tried ginger on top of my roll this time, and it wasn't that bad. It actually tasted pretty good. You like coffee over tea. Yes, I am an avid coffee drinker. I just need it. I just need coffee to be like a little more friendly. You have a lot of stuff. Yes. I get sent a lot of stuff in PR. I have a few boxes of stuff where I try to go through, see what I can use on my YouTube channel or on Instagram or like my blog or something, but I'm also the type of person that, yes, I have a lot of stuff, but I also gift a lot of it to friends. So what I've been doing recently is making little goodie bags. What I do is like stuff that like I can't use right now or stuff that I have already I go ahead and I make like little goodie bags for my friends like skincare hair care whatever um and I kind of just fill it with stuff and I give it to them like randomly and I'm always like here you go like enjoy so I do have a lot of stuff but I do also give away a lot of stuff clothes I have a lot of clothes oh no 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 this fell in there oh crap you stay up to date with trends yes I do stay up to date up to date with trends um whether it be makeup or clothes or anything, but I'm also the person that 
yes even though i am staying up to date with trends i'm still gonna do what i want to do as you guys know skinny jeans and side parts are not in at the moment i love my skinny jeans i love my side parts so i'm still gonna do what i want to do i feel like fashion is definitely something that is a way to express yourself and it's a way to make you feel comfortable and confident in your body so if you're rocking something that was so last year continue to do it i mean do you you spend so much time on social media this i feel like i also addressed in my other video i was spending so much time on social media like it was unhealthy i was kind of glued to my phone i was documenting everything yes as a content creator that's basically your job but i realized that me being on social media all the time made me not like it as much so i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram I've been posting maybe like once a month if that I know I definitely want to like get back on it it can get so draining you're constantly comparing yourself to other people you're constantly looking at the likes you're constantly looking at the comments like it can get really really draining it wasn't fun for me anymore it was really hard for me to grow so I definitely took a huge step back and I really focused on YouTube which I love I love doing YouTube videos so yes I used to be on social media all the time but I definitely took a big step back next question is I'm always put together no a lot of the time when I'm home you will find me in leggings or sweatpants and like a t-shirt kind of even when I'm out I'm kind of like a leggings girl I'm not always put together go out looking like whatever oh my god the other day I went to Target and I was in joggers and they were like purple and then I was in this red sweatshirt and I had on Uggs and I was like nothing matches but I was just so comfy at home and I was just like it is what it is whoever sees me it doesn't really matter right now you started YouTube for money no i actually wasn't even thinking about getting paid on youtube and stuff i started youtube because i wanted to help people i wanted people to see that i had super oily skin i was breaking out like crazy and i had huge pores and i wanted to be like okay if i needed help other people needed help so i decided to make my youtube channel to help other people did not even think about getting paid for youtube at all next up is you don't like to show emotions so, um, I feel like I am a true Aquarius, and Aquariuses don't really show emotions, um, but I am definitely not one to hide my emotions. So if I'm, like, really mad or something, I'm definitely one to tell the person that I'm really mad. I definitely do try to, uh, hide my emotions as best as I can don't really talk about my emotions that much you speak your mind yeah okay so that kind of goes with it yeah I definitely speak my mind if I'm upset about something or angry or like sad or something I'll definitely tell the person I have no problem I feel like as I've gotten older my filter has gotten like less and less if that makes any sense and I'm definitely one to call somebody out tell them how I feel kind of squash the situation what I do a lot of the time is I kind of think about it through and then once I think and process, which could be like for five minutes, um, I definitely bring it up and I definitely talk about it. You're an overthinker. Yes, I am. I definitely have a type A personality. I feel like my mind is just constantly going. Um, I do overthink a lot. I have been... No, another one fell into the eel sauce. No. I have always been an overthinker. I feel like that will never change. That I am high maintenance. Oh my god, no. I am literally like the most chill girl ever. I mean, if you mean like high maintenance is like I get my nails done, my hair done, yes. I'm super laid back. I'm super chill. I don't really think about like material items. Um, yeah, they're nice, but like they don't really mean everything. You like to try new things. Yes. I like to try new things. Um, as long as it's not something I'm scared of, like heights do not like heights so I would never do anything with heights but I definitely like to try new things I feel like there's so much that the world has to offer so why not give it a try once and if you don't like it don't do it again I'm getting a little full I'm probably gonna have the rest for dinner I put everything on social media no I do not I like to keep certain things private I like to let you guys know certain things but there's a lot of things that you guys don't know of social media is literally like not even 5% of what you guys see in my life and I feel like that's good because you always want that sense of privacy but I tried to be as upfront and honest with you guys as possible so if you guys do have a question I have no problem answering it um, but I just try to keep certain things private and I feel like every youtuber kind of has to go through that and every youtuber struggles with finding that balance i feel like that's definitely something i struggle with sometimes um i definitely struggle with do i say this do i not say this do i put this out do i not put this out but you know everybody just does what's right for them and what they feel 
and I feel like so far I'm doing a pretty good job. I show what I want to show and then keep some things private, you know? You're a perfectionist. I leave it. Next up is you had a privileged upbringing. No. So I didn't have an unprivileged upbringing. Like my mom literally did, does everything she can for me, my brother still whatever we need she's always there i grew up with a single mom she still did like she did it all like we were not wealthy but she made everything work and she made us realize that like if we want something we got to work for it and i'm so so grateful for that and like now i have that mindset uh, you're laid back and you don't stress easily i am extremely laid back like i am like really really chill but I stress so much. So that's like a half true, half not true. You are a positive thinker. Yeah, I actually am a positive thinker. I like to always think about the positive things. I'm definitely one to be like what you think about, you bring about. So I want to think positive. I want to be positive and I'm going to make positive things happen to me. So yes, I am definitely positive. I like to say positive. I've always been that way. You don't cook. Well, so I cook a little bit. Um, I don't really cook that much, but I do cook. I'm learning how to cook a little more um, as time goes on. You want kids. Yes, I want kids. Um, I would like to. Negative comments don't affect you. I feel like I have pretty thick skin, so they don't. I could take criticism. Like, if you want to be critical of one of my videos, go ahead, tell me. I've had a few people say that, and I take that with, like, so much respect. Like, okay, I understand. But if you come at me, like, really, really mean, it affects me. I want to be treated with respect just like anybody else. So, um, I'm a positive person, and I don't want to see that crap. Like, that's just how I am. I've always been that way. Next up is that I am bougie. So, no, I am, like, the least bougie person possible um another one is that i have rbf if you guys don't know what that means that is resting b face yeah i do i feel like i definitely do you have i d g a f energy that is i don't give a energy um yeah i feel like i do i feel like i know that i'm only 28 and like 28 is young but i feel like i'm too old to care what people think at this point I am 28, you're not paying my bills, you're not giving me money, like, you're not my employer, like, I kind of am that person that I'm just like, I don't care what you think, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, I'm not harming anybody, and it makes me happy, so you know what? So sorry for you, like, that's just how I am, and I'm kind of grateful for that, truthfully, because it just lets me be me. Yeah, I'm definitely one to be like, I'm doing me, you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't, I'm not hurting you, whatever. That you are tired of your blonde hair. Um, no. Actually, I love blonde. There was a period of time where I wanted to cut my hair super short and then I wanted, like, burgundy hair. I wanted that so bad. And I just feel like I'm, I love blonde. I love doing different shades of blonde. I'm a blonde at heart. I love blonde. I feel like I'll be blonde for a really long time. It just suits me. Sometimes you get over doing social media influencing. Um, I wouldn't want to say like I get over it, but I definitely get overwhelmed. I feel like because I work a full-time job, social media, filming, editing, uploading, doing Instagram, my blog, I was basically doing like 80 hour weeks and it was really draining and I feel like I hit that breaking point where I was just like, I can't do it anymore. I didn't get over it, but I definitely took a huge step back. I stopped doing everything for a bit even youtube i stopped and i kind of just focused on myself and i cut back on youtube definitely cut back on instagram cut back on my blog doing everything yourself is definitely overwhelming definitely stressful but i will never get over it because i really love this doing only social media as a job wouldn't fulfill you see that kind of plays into it um i actually feel like it would fulfill me so much i love social media I love the business side of it. I love the content creator side of it. I feel like I could literally do all of it. Every day is different and it's never boring. So yeah, at a thousand percent, it would fulfill me. That would literally be a dream. Next question. I feel like I need to eat a piece of sushi. I have not eaten a piece of sushi in so long. I'm getting full, y'all. I'm getting so full. I said that like four pieces ago. But this hit the spot. I'm so happy. Next question is you don't hang out with Nathalia and Amanda anymore. Those girls, if you guys don't know, are my best friends. I've known them since 2011. 
They're like my sisters, they'll always be my sisters. Um, but we kind of suck at hanging out together. I don't know if anybody else feels this way. We at least try to see each other once a month. We usually fail. We talk often. We have a group chat. We talk a lot. Um, but it's also hard because I live in more like central Jersey, like central north of Jersey. And they live more like South Jersey. The three of us have like jobs, conflicting schedules. So it's hard to see them, but I love them dearly. They're still in my life. They're still my friends, um, still my sisters. The next question is that I like in sync more than Backstreet Boys. That is so false. I fight with everybody on this, no matter what. I am definitely a Backstreet Boys girl. I've always been a Backstreet Boys girl. Next question is, and I think this is gonna be my last question because I am so full, guys. I don't know how I eat that much. I'm going more lifestyle than makeup. So, um, I don't really know how to answer this. I feel like I am adding more lifestyle content to my YouTube, but I'm still always gonna be a makeup-based channel. Um, I kind of was even thinking about doing like a vlogish channel, but truthfully, I don't really do as much vlogs. A lot of my videos are kind of like this, like sit back, chill. I've had like truth or drinks and stuff on my channel, which really aren't vlog types of stuff, more like lifestyle, I guess, like challenges or whatever. So, um, I could always start a different channel for stuff like that if you guys didn't want that cross reference. Um, but I personally just thought it would be a lot easier to put everything on one channel and it may seem like lifestyle related, but truthfully, I am definitely more of a beauty channel. I will always do makeup. I will never stop talking or doing makeup or doing reviews or anything like that because that is where my love lies. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. I feel like it's not broke. You guys like it. I like it. So why not? I hope that you guys still enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos on my channel, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know so I can continue to do them. But I hope that you guys learned a little bit more about me. I hope that you guys did enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe before you go if you did like what you saw so you can be part of the ATFB fam. ATFB, all things fashion and beauty and if you hit that post notification bell, you will get notified of all my future uploads. I usually do upload every Tuesday and Thursday. So I hope that you guys are doing well and that you guys are safe. And I will see you guys in a few days in my next video. Bye!